Let's generate some trees and let's learn about custom tree generation. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we've been adding a custom tree generation to our Minecraft mod, of course, continuing along from the last tutorial where we added the custom tree and now we're also going to add the placed feature as well as the biome modifier associated with it and of course this means that the last tutorial is more or less a prerequisite to this tutorial uh, otherwise of course you can always double check the description down below there is the github repository with all of the code previous uh, or you know basically past and present as well as possibly future depending on when you're watching this which is pretty crazy indeed Whatever the case may be, we're going to start in the mod placed features class. So of course, we're going to add a public static final resource key of type placed feature. It's going to be the, this is going to be the walnut underscore placed underscore key equal to the register key method. But we'll of course call this the walnut underscore placed here. Now, how are we going to place down the tree? It's going to look like this. We're going to call the register method passing in, first of all, the context, then the walnut placed key. And then we once again need to refer back to the configured feature. So we're going to use the var over here, configured features dot get or throw mod configured features dot walnut key. After the first closing parenthesis, we then want to use the vegetation placements class dot tree placement, passing in placement utils. So this is the placement utils class dot count extra. Let's do a three and then a point one with an additional amount of two. I'm going to explain this in just a second. Then after the first closing parentheses, mod blocks dot walnut sapling dot get. Now we're going to explain this from the back to the front. The walnut sapling over here added in the tree placement method is vitally important because if you do not add this, then your issue is that your trees can be placed anywhere. Adding the walnut sapling right here restricts where your trees can be placed by what or what the what the block is that the walnut sapling can be placed on. That is what this does. And you can see if I were to remove it, it would still work. Never do this if you don't want your trees to end up in all sorts of crazy places. That is the idea. That is why the walnut sapling here has to be added very, very importantly. Then the first thing here is the count extra. Now, in theory, I could do all sorts of different things right here, but the count extra basically says we're going to place down three trees and then there's a 10% chance of adding two more trees. Now, What's important in this case is that, first of all, play around with those numbers, double check also, control, left click on this, control, left click on this again, look at the vegetation placements over here, take a look at what you can see here for the base values and all of the different chances and things like that, right? So you say, oh, I want the trees to roughly be the same as the taiga, there you go, put in a 10, put in a 0.1 and a 1 over here, there you go. Things like that, absolutely no worries, try this out, I highly recommend it. But one thing that's quite important here is the 0.1 because this one is very, very strange. The way that this works is that you take the chance that we're giving it and you do one divided by 0.1. And this F over here has to be an integer. If this is not an integer, then for some reason you're going to be, well, basically it's going to be, it's not going to work. So the idea is that a 0.1, absolutely no worries. One divided by 0.1 is 10. That's an integer. One divided by 0.2, that's an integer that would also work. However, if you were to put in 0.3, this is not an integer, ergo, it's not going to work and you're going to get the error that which is going to say chance data cannot be represented as list weight. So if you do get this, then this is the place to look for it. And basically this is the uh, floating number to change very, very importantly. Now that we have that one, we can move on to the biome modifier. Interesting. So the biome modifier, of course, once again, is going to require a public static final resource key, this time of type biome modifier. I'm going to call this the add walnut tree equal to the register key method. And we're going to call this the same thing, add walnut tree or tr add tree walnut. There you go, add tree walnut. I mean, either one is fine. It doesn't matter. So this is going to be the bio modifier. And how is this going to look like? Well, it's going to be very straightforward. We're going to duplicate one of the ones that we already have. Now, as always, when you copy or duplicate something, you have to check everything. The first thing here, of course, is going to use the walnut tree key over here. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what biomes do we want this to spawn in? Well, we don't want a tag. I actually want a holder set of direct over here because I want to be able to say, I want this to spawn in, let's say, 
biomes plains is fine and then the other one should be maybe the savannah or something like that right that's gonna be okay and then of course a placed feature here this is why i said when you copy over something you have to double check every single line it is very very easy to miss something like this walnut placed key and then at the very end here the decoration generation step is of course vegetal decoration having added this now we actually have everything we need for our custom tree to spawn inside of the world in our case both in the plains biome as well as in the savannah biome with this, we can run the data gen over here. This is going to generate us the placed feature JSON file as well as the biome modifier JSON file with all of the basically all of the things that we have defined right here. And with that, we basically have everything we need. Now, in our case, we can either jump into a world that already exists or make a new world. I'm going to just make a new world and let's take a look if everything works. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft and let's just locate a plains biome over here. And let's see if we can't see our tree spawning. And of course, here they freaking are, our walnut leaves. And of course, these are the forking uh, the forking trunk placers. I really do like them. And there you have it, right? This is going to be the way that these are will spawn. Once again, you can, of course, change up any of the numbers. I always highly recommend play around with those numbers. This one's a little bit crazy over here, but there you go. Uh, play around with those numbers. See what you can find. And yeah, with that, you have custom tree generation added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time on this video, we'll talk about a tree spawning on a different block. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.